Good afternoon. Guess what I'm here to talk about? I am the Austin ISD trustee in, um, for Austin ISD, and I am also the Democratic candidate for the Texas House, House District 49, without a Republican opponent, as it should be. We scared them off. But the purpose and of my, my relevant association for the purposes of this speech is that I happen to be the oldest daughter of the state party chair. And as his dutiful daughter, they send me out here to do the dirty work. Um, so yes, I am out here. How many other elected officials do you think turned them down before they landed on me to do the money ask? And guess who's taking the trash out afterwards? But no, I hate to ask for money. I had to do it all the time in my very expensive campaign. But it's one, <laughs> one painful thing to do to ask for money for a primary race against other Democrats. And it is an entirely different thing to ask for money for our common cause. And that's why I am here today. I am here to ask you to invest in our common cause. I see our common cause as one of empowering Texans to live a life of dignity. I am Catholic, and dignity is a value that is firmly rooted in our faith. It is so fundamental that it plays into how we choose to live our everyday lives, how we comport ourselves, and how we strive to treat others. And many of us are very, very troubled by what we see as the erosion of basic dignity in the actions, the words, and policies of the Republican leadership. When dignity, dignity is the bare minimum that we should expect from our government, The dignity of a full-time job that pays each and every worker at minimum a living wage, $15. We expect no less than the dignity of a system of health care that preserves life and health irrespective of one's ability to pay or the size of our bank account, single payer. The dignity of an adequate public education as enshrined in our Texas Constitution that says, I quote, education is essential to the preservation of our liberties and rights. Shout out to the teachers. Which to me speaks to the dignity of self-determination. Is there any greater dignity than that? Yet when politicians trusting in their own infinite wisdom deny women, deny us, the basic dignity to make decisions about our bodies, our health, our families, and our faith, we are denied the basic dignity of self-determination. When our Lieutenant Governor, Dan Patrick, chooses to use, that's right, shameful, chooses to use his bully pulpit to actually bully young transgender boys and girls who want nothing more than to just fit in, and incredibly even worse than that when he uses it to celebrate in the name of religion the slaughter of fellow Americans because of who they love. There is no dignity, but there is hope. 
Our hope lies in our knowledge of the strength of character of a majority of our fellow Texans, good and decent people who have just not yet recognized the value in their participation, the value in their vote. Texans who are neighbors, co-workers, our cousins, Texans with dignity. Texans who know better, who shake their heads in disapproval every time they hear an utterance from the mouths of Donald Trump or Dan Patrick. Texans who are already with us, we just have to reach out and get them to the polls. And for that common cause, I will gladly and proudly ask and beg for money for your investment. And for that, I will write my own check to renew my sustaining membership despite my dwindling bank account after my very expensive race. Because our common cause is what I work for and dedicate myself to every day, and I know that you do too. And if we can pool our money together and do that work together, we've got a shot. So you, if you haven't already turned in your check and your sustaining membership pledge card, which is found in your um, program, please do so now. There are TDP staff members walking around with actual buckets, raise your hands, actual buckets to take your checks. But we take cash too. So if you've already made your sustaining pledge check, thank you very much. But I'm asking you to dig a little deeper and give whatever more that you can. Because we literally need buckets of money to make this happen. But what better thing could you spend your money on? If we can deliver Texas to Hillary and fi finally turn this state blue, or even purple, wouldn't every single penny you've spent be worth it? I know it would, you know it would, so please join me and give what you can, or like me, give more than you can. So thank you so much for hearing me out today. Thank you for everything you do to make our party strong and to turn our state blue.